Jazz Drumming 101. There's no destination here. I mean, you'll learn to do one set of skills, playing jazz or rock or pop. You want to develop a drum solo uh, so that it, well, it's a work of art. Utilizing stickings and rudiments at the kit, playing fills, musical fills, connecting your ideas. There's a million things to learn, and all of them interconnect, and they all lead to each other. And each thing that you learn is going to inform the next. So that's why I call it a work in progress. Okay, let's get started. It's important first to discuss your relationship with your instrument. You should have the cymbals and the drums set up in such a way uh, so that you can reach everything quite comfortably. The hi-hat on beats two and four. One, two, three, four, one. Let's practice some long tones. I'm going to play whole notes on the ride cymbal. One, two, Now, same tempo, I'll play the same thing, but I'll change the way I'm thinking about the beat. I'll be thinking of that triplet subdivision that Bob Shepard was talking about with one of the students. Um, I'll sing the offbeat triplet or the swung eighth note. Ba -do -da 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 -da. I'm singing the spaces between the notes. I'm honoring the spaces between the notes. Actually, what's really happening is I'm carving out these spaces between the notes. And this is going to change the way the beat feels. It'll change my touch. It changes a lot of things just by changing the way I think about it. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Uh, 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 uh. 